Hey, welcome to Auckland, New Zealand. Now the guys from Zwift have invited the ride to guest present stage one of their Australia and New Zealand tour and we're stoked to show you around. Wes, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, How are you going? Yeah, good. It's not that social usually, riding in your own garage. Zwift kind of gets you into a realm where there's lots of people and you can be social. It's really cool to come together in an event like this to, you know, to really connect and, and other people here meeting up that are Zwifters that haven't actually met up in real life. You're here in Auckland. What other cities are you heading to? Our next venue will be in at Melbourne at the Rapper Clubhouse. So that's on the, uh, the 20th of April, so next Friday. Then we'll be in Sydney and then Brisbane after that. Kick a climb. Now that thing looks absolutely rad. Does Zwift actually allow yeah. for those changes? Yeah, so it, it goes with the gradient changes. So as you'd feel the real life uh, inertia of the, of the kicker, of the flywheel slowing you down, then you've also got now with the in-game actually start climbing. So does the climb, as, it, as its name states, it starts climbing with you. How many minutes do you have to do until the pain's over? Oh, two. Two minutes. Two minutes? Yeah, at 159. So is that the record so far? So far it is. Oh, wow. Are you a Zwift to Chris? I did a little bit of a race earlier. That was challenging. What was your time? I think it was 2.23. We were talking to this little boy who did it in 159. Are you a Zwifter? Yes. I set up at home. It's between three of us. So there's always an argument who's going first, second or third. <laughs> this is the one you should speak So to. She's got a complete Swift addiction. We're doing the tour of Watopia now. My son will do the 7 o'clock, I'll do the 11 o'clock, and Paul will do the one when he's 7 o'clock in the evening when he comes when home, from, home from, work. from work. Unfortunately, the youngster is always the fastest. Okay, we've just been speaking to your parents. How many hours do you spend on Swift uh, a week? Between five and six. It's so convenient. You can get on whenever you want. <laughs> well, I couldn't help but notice your Zwift bag. I took out the uh, women's race this evening. So I got a bag, I got a bottle, and a cap. That was a 12 month membership. Oh my god. For winning. It was my first time doing it, so I just got to get a trainer now and then I can use it. Oh my goodness. So we're wrapping up on a fantastic Swift event here in Auckland. If you get a chance to get to some of the other cities where this event is going to, try and get out. It's a fantastic platform. It's social. You can get on with your mates. You don't have to be at one of these events to try Swift. You can always sign up at home. So either go hard or go home and go on Swift. And we'll see you next time on the ride. So when does the cap come down? When it's uh, business time. Oh, <laughs> business time. And that is quite a wonderful moustache. Thank you, thank you. Is it's it, always is... business time without moustache. <laughs> <laughs>